Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. 8,000 doors, and watching TV without a license can mean up to a thousand pound fine. Get a TV license, it's cheaper than a big fine. Dr. Fox, Dr. Fox, it's Belinda Carlisle here. I got a bad Hi. case of loving you. And what can I do? Oh, lucky me. 8.48, good morning. I see you walking with her. Now, on the subject of Robo Babes, Heather Lockyer has been, uh, sorry, has beaten Elle McPherson. Uh, how much has she been in the paper recently? And also Rachel Hunter to the title Body Beautiful from US Fitness Mag Longevity. Now, the secret to her success in good looks, regular workouts, they reckon have worked absolute wonders. Take note. The Capital right, FM Flying Eye with <laughs> Selmet, the big network for small phones. Russ boy. Listen to this. You want to hear luck? My friend years ago went and lived in L.A. and he yeah. opened up this window, his window of his house. Who's his next door neighbor? Who? Heather Lockyer. Oh. In the garden. He couldn't no. believe it. But it moved from Muswell Hill to L.A. and Heather oh. Lockyer his neighbor. Oh, you don't hear that in Hendon, do you? Not a lot. Not, not really. really. Hoping. Not nothing wrong with Phil and Ross. They're very, very nice. It's just the not have a look yet. Well, the high tunnel northbound. That's <laughs> sailing back. <laughs> a week or so. Uh, A2 uh, slow through Swanscombe. That's London bound, of course. And the broken down bus. I think it's gone from Parcel Street as you head down towards Brent Street. The flying eye with cell net. The big network for small phones. It's more thick. It's 8:53. Henry Cooper used to live near me, though. Did he? In Hendon, yeah. He's not as good looking as. Have a long year. Not so good in the bikini, to be honest with you. Well, I bet he's more fun. Probably. Yeah. Dream on. Thanks, Russ, boy. Bye. Well, I have to say, I did my own exercise video yesterday in that heat. I actually did. I got it out and I... Well, you're I stupid. A, I was <laughs> a very... Stupid. Well, I was a very good girl. I'm sure it looked very silly if you were walking by my house. I'm sorry about that. Tubes are having a hectic morning this morning. A horrible sight, I would have A really horrible sight from behind. St. Paul's station is closed for a safety check by the fire brigade, and there's still no sign of life, I'm afraid, from the Epping Ongar shuttle. The Northern Line hasn't yet recovered from a signal fault, and trains will start and finish at Liverpool Street or Barking, while Fenchurch Street Station is closed. It's six minutes to nine. Oh, a cellulite wobbling around, oh, Clara. Oh, thank be you. <laughs> Hanging out of your leotard. What a thought oh. that is. What was it earlier on, sorry? A big squidgy lemon. Big, oh. wet, squidgy lemon. Right. It sounded a bit like beached whales to me. Come on. Get those lying around. 8.54. David Bowie, Capital Breakfast. If you want to win a Fox Fortune in the next hour, we're going to give you another chance to win. Got this brilliant holiday as well up for grabs to Santa Monica, California with a few extra bits. Think it's good. Do you remember a It's up to love song. Cranking lineup for you today at 95.8 Capital FM. Pat Man at 10 this morning. Top 10 at 10 from 1986. Lots of love at 11. More chances to win Power and Soul, the CD on Record Recall. The Browns afternoon crew at 1. It's Martin Collins on drive time at 4 for the kid. Where is at 7. Claire Ashford on surgery tonight at 7.30. Paul Fear for Martin on the late show at 10. It's London's number one. It's 8.58 now. This PC world thing is getting very big. Big store, very, very big. Huge, huger than that. Extremely big. So the choice is big. Everything. Massive choice, astonishingly big choice. This is the blue whale of choice, computer-wise. You could not imagine more choice. If you put this choice alongside something even pretty big, the pretty big thing would be dwarfed. Because this choice is so big. This is not a small choice here. We're talking big. BT, it's good to talk. This is 95.8 Capital FM. 
London. Capital reports at nine. RMT chief Jimmy Knapp says nothing can stop tomorrow's 48-hour train strike, and he's sure none of his members will cross picket lines. Aid agencies claim the American airdrop to Rwandan refugees was a publicity stunt that did more harm than good. The UN denies the Air Force of mi- denies the Air Force missed the target, dropping food up to a mile from refugee camps in Zaire. Now, an Australian psychologist claims pigs need love too. Graham Coleman says they get stressed out through being handled roughly on farms, and farmers should not slap them about. That's the way it is at 9.02. I'm Howard Hughes. Summertime in London. Someone thought being made into bacon is Friday. It's rather more stressful for a piggy. Oh, wing, wing. Doctor, doctor. Fox. It's Doctor Fox's morning surgery. It's 22 degrees currently. Weather-wise, it's absolutely lovely. Sunshine pushing through the hazy skies. Outside tomorrow, dropping back into the high 70s with a few showers on their way. Rest of the week, but it's still going to be sunshine. 9:02. Listening to the radio. You only need just one knob. One knob. The volume Bring it knob. Up. Bring it up. Thank you. 907 on breakfast surgery. Fox's fortunes a bit later on. Chance to win some free cash. And we have a sloppy segue to die for. <laughs> Sing your heart out to. This is Dr. Fox at 95.8 Capital FM Breakfast Surgery, 11 after 9 with George Michael and Aswan. Now, from our medical file on surgery this morning, crazy medics have stumbled on the amazing cure for pain, loads and loads of insatiable lovemaking. The researchers record that wild bouts of incredible lovemaking flood the body with ecstasy, setting up an antidote to agony for the rest of the day. The sex medicine cure was discovered by U.S.-based Dr. David Schnark and a team of boffins at Louisiana State University. His medical report highlights the very real health benefits of making wild, unbridled love. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's all good so far. We've got this really serious report, and this is, he's put it out with this great name. The report is called Joy With Your Underpants Down. <laughs> America. I like it. Cranked up rock and roll from Robert Palmer. 914. The Capital FM. Flying Eye with Selmet. The big network for small phones. I was just thinking about that report that you did. That yes. report. It's a whole yes. new meaning to the word boffins, isn't it, really? Yes. <laughs> M25, <laughs> Junction 5. It's all very... And there's still no sign, I'm afraid, of the Epping Ongar shuttle. It's 9.16. Now, here was me fiddling with my cards. Now, this is it. Fox's Fortunes. It's a new game we're playing on Breakfast All this week, whereby you can win money just for talking a lot about a specific subject we'll give you. If you want to have a go at it right now, we've got some special twists in it. If you haven't already heard it this morning, 71 5255 Sloppy segue time this morning. Hope you enjoy these hand-picked songs from the morning surgeons. It's coming up on 17 minutes after 9. Scorching day. 76 degrees already. How sticky are you this morning if you just arrived at work? Oh, it's a bit sort of muggy, isn't it, eh? 
0844-545-255, the number to call if you want to win a Fox fortune this morning. Come on, Foxy, get sexy with me. All right, got player coming up, Michael Bolton first. Oh. Capital FM. Sloppy segue on this morning, Sergio. Hope you enjoyed those songs. Score Michael Bolton did a good version of Drift Away and Baby Come Back from Player. Lovely jubbly. It's 9.24. Time for Fox's Fortunes this hour. All all this week we're playing this game. We can win free money and also a chance to win a brilliant trip to Santa Monica, California. Now, I would like to speak, please, with line 10. Hiya, Fox. Hi, who are you? Cindy. Cindy from Chiswick. Cin oh, not another one from Chiswick. Oh, yeah, the oh, best no. part of the world. What do you do, Cindy? I'm a housewife. Are you really? So yeah. you haven't got, haven't got to rush off to work anyway? No, no, no. I've just sent one of them off to school, and I'm trying to keep the youngest here occupied. Get the other one off to school? Have yeah. bro not broken up yet? No, well, he goes to nursery. He goes two days a week to Hogarth Nursery in Chiswick. All right. So, um... He'll be playing around today. And like I said, I've got a little one here. Yeah, I can hear, hear You'll crying. probably be hearing quite a lot of her, actually. Yeah, what's her name? Isabella. Isabella. Yeah, Isabella's crying already, isn't she? Well, she's starting, yes. Oh, <laughs> the heat must be rather annoying. It is. It's yeah. a bit too hot for them. Yeah, I can believe that. Now, yeah. we're trying to win some money, then, uh, I'd love to. Pay off some bills. That'd be nice. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do on Fox's Fortune is got to ask you a question, firstly, about California. Get this one right, and we can go through to sort of the next bit, OK? Right, yeah, yeah. At which Californian stadium did the 1994 World Cup final take place? Um, was it the Rose Bowl? Pasadena Rose Bowl. That's right. There you go. Thank you. So you should, as long as you play your cards fairly sensibly here, end up with a bit of money, OK? So far, we're giving away uh, £160. Yeah. Giving away £320 to Susie Warner. Old uh, motor mouth. We yeah. heard it in the last hour. Did you hear her? No, I didn't. I was feeding the children. Caught them, Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's up to you now. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do... Um, it's a talk for 30 seconds, basically, about sunshine. Yeah. Something that we've been talking about lots recently. Yep. Now, you've got to talk about sunshine for 30 seconds without umming, erring, or having any really long pauses. Yeah. Your band word is hot or heat. Yeah. Nothing about hot or heat. Yeah. But now, look, I've got 15 envelopes. Two of them have gone. If you'd like to choose one, it'll give you your Fox Fortune word. Um, number four, please. Number four. Yeah. Uh, okay, number four. There's three you've gone before and seven. Right. Number four. Here we go. Right, the word in your envelope is telephone. Yeah. Okay, telephone, and it's worth 50 pounds every time you say it. Right, ho. Huh? All right, now don't just go mad and go, telephone, 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 telephone. Yeah. It's got to make some kind of sense. So just to recap then, we want you to talk about sunshine. Yeah. Hi, Isabella. Uh, sunshine <laughs> without umming, erring, or long pauses. You can't say hot or heat, but you can say telephone lots of times. And every time you say it, we'll give you 50 quid. Right, ho. Are you ready? Um, can I take a deep breath? I, I, I can't say hot or heat. You can't say hot or heat. I can talk about the telephone. You can. Right, and we yeah. want you to talk about sunshine. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Good luck. Should I start now? Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, I phoned up my mum today to tell her how nice the weather was. We talked on the telephone for ages. The weather outside was beautiful. I telephoned my friend also. She was saying to me how nice the weather was too. It was so hot. Uh, oh. Oh, no. oh. oh. It was looking good till then. Yeah. It was looking so good till then. Yeah. I think you'd already got four telephones and that was 200 quid to start with. Oh, right, ho. Oh, but never mind. Yeah. You got bonged out. Yeah. But thanks anyway. Oh, well. Off to the heat now. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thanks for being on today, Sin. Uh, can I just say hello to my boyfriend, Ian, who's driving the 72 on number 9 today. Cool, but that's a bit sticky, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's a bit too hot. Him. Yeah. Hope you have a nice day today. All right. Thanks, Fox. See ya. Thank you. Bye. 927.